So I'll give a brief introduction to Cassava Base. Cassava Base implements a complete digital ecosystem in which data is uh, always collected and processed in a digital form. The goal is to increase data quality, make data sharing easier, enable advanced statistical analysis over large data sets, and to create a repository for breeding data. The Cassava Base digital ecosystem covers the entire breeding cycle including germplasm management, pedigrees, trial management, phenotype collection and evaluation, collection and management of genotyping data, as well as data QC, analysis, and selection support. Cassava Base is completely web-based and running in the cloud, so no software is required other than a web browser. All data are stored on the Cassava Base servers. Brief overview of the user interface. Every page contains a menu bar, uh, with the same menus. The first menu is the search menu, which gives access to all the different searches, with searches for accessions, trials, genotyping information, traits, etc. The management manage menu gives access to all the breeding management functions, such as managing trials, crosses, genotyping plates, barcodes, and so forth. The analyze menu gives access to all the different analysis tools on the site, including SolGS, the genomic selection tool, clustering, PCA, GWAS, Stability and Heritability Tools, and others. The About menu, uh, importantly, gives access to the Cassava Base manual and instructional videos on YouTube. To use Cassava Base, you first need to create an account and uh, then log in to the database. Each user has assigned roles in the database. The roles decide what a user can do on the website. Different roles exist for reading data, adding and deleting data, and other actions. Cassava Base is used by a worldwide community of cassava breeders with a total of 24 cassava breeding programs registered in the database. This map shows the trial locations throughout the world. A clear focus can be seen on Africa, which has by far the most activity, followed by South America and Asia. The major driving force behind Cassava Base is, of course, the Next Gen project. Cassava Base contains substantial amounts of breeding data, and some programs, such as IITA and SIAT, have uploaded historical data back to the 1970s. Currently, Cassava Base contains over 5,000 trials, 20 million phenotypic measurements, and almost 500,000 genotyping results. For an active breeding program, all data is managed from within the database. For example, crosses can be planned and recorded within the database, and trials can be designed, and progeny can be predicted. This slide shows how, how uh, a workflow uh, for trial creation. The workflow requires some parameters to be input, such as the name of the trial, the type of randomization, and the list of accessions to be used and then generates and stores the trial in the database. Once a trial has been created, it can be phenotyped using a number of tools. The most important to date has been the Fieldbook app that allows data to be recorded digitally in the field. The Fieldbook app runs on a tablet that can be taken to the field and data can be collected and uploaded directly to Cassava Base. The Fieldbook app was created at Kansas State University. To enable easy identification of plant accessions in the field, Cassava Base supports the barcoding of fields. Cassava Base has an integrated label designer tool that allows users to design custom labels and print them right from the database. The labels can be read by the tablets running Android Fieldbook software, greatly reducing errors in data entry. Currently, portable NIRS devices are revolutionizing phenotyping. Spectra can be correlated with traits in the samples. The calibration of this trait spectrum correlation can be performed directly in Cassava Base, and Nick will present more about this later in the workshop. Cassava Base also has a module called Image Breed for drone based image analysis. Drones take pictures while flying over a field. These images can be assembled in Cassava Base and overlaid with georeference plot coordinates. Plot-specific images can then be excised from the different wavelengths, uh, specific composite images, and analyzed. A 
for a root crop, being able to non-destructively sample the root system is of key importance, and we are working with IATA and others to implement ground-penetrating radar analysis for this purpose. CassavaBase implements a full genotyping database for low to high density genotyping methods such as Intertech, DartSeq, and GPS. It is extremely important to collect the data using standard operating procedures such that genotyped samples can be matched with accessions and samples in the database. The SOPs rely on the coordinate app, which is used to collect the sample data in the field and group them into 96 well plates. This information is then uploaded to CassavaBase from where it can be submitted to the sequencing centers. The resulting genotypes can then be processed and uploaded as well, and used for analysis such as SolGS in CassavaBase. Last but not least, data in the database can be queried. Uh, we have seen a lot of the different search options in the search menu. Data in the database can, but can also be considered as an n-dimensional cube with different dimensions represented by the factors in the data, such as breeding locations, years, breeding programs, traits, and so forth. One way to query the data is to conceptually slice this cube along the different dimensions. The result of the query will be an intersect. With this approach, very specific datasets can be generated for further analysis. If that sounds complicated, uh, it really isn't. The concept is implemented in the wizard, which displays four columns for each of the which a dimension can be selected. For every dimension, the data in the database are displayed and can be selected. For example, I first selected breeding programs. I can select the breeding program, and next I select the year for which the breeding program has data in the database. And then I select the, select the location, and finally the traits. These selections can be stored in the database and are the basis for further analysis in the tools on the database. Um, I will stop here um, and I would like to acknowledge all the members of the lab as well as all the breeders, data managers and breeding staff in the breeding centers that have made cassava base possible. Thank you.